4 once again with NASCAR Heat 3. And this is going to be the beginning of a season on this game with Matt Crafton and his number 88 Menards Ford. The reason why I've chosen a Ford driver for this season is because last year on NASCAR Heat 2, I chose a Toyota driver and then, well, whenever I got to the Xfinity Series, I think I went in choosing a Ford driver and for the Cup Series, I chose a Chevy driver. So I want to choose different manufacturers for different series in this game. Something different about my uh, Let's Plays on this game is that I've chosen all the drivers for each series already. Whenever I was doing NASCAR Heat 2, I didn't choose them until I was getting to those series. But yeah, I have everything all set in line. Bunch of legendary drivers for each series, not just some random guy for two of them. Get Tommy Jeske, Mike Snyder. I like my Louisiana hot sauce, but Mike Snyder, he, he's not that good. And Tommy Jeske, freaking nobody. They didn't even want to have his iRacing Ford in the game, which was, it makes sense, but I hated it. I had to call it the not iRacing Ford in every video. But just yesterday, finished off the Extreme Dirt Tour by getting my third win of the series. I thought I had two going to that one, then I forgot that I actually won at Dreben. And I didn't remember going to Dreben and winning until I remember doing donuts in that race. And I forgot, hey, I have done donuts before in this game. But yeah, so let's get to the first race of the season. The next area, Energy Resources 250 at Daytona. That is a really long race stand, but I can't blame NASCAR. They're really getting low on sponsorship. Here are the championship mode settings. 105 custom difficulty, 13% race length, and tire wear fuel consumption on four times. All strict yellow flags because, yeah, I don't want this relaxed crapper. Two cars wreck and then nothing happens. We got three race stages. which is going to make some stages in the truck series really short, like two or three laps. And, well, I mean, I managed to get to the final four in NASCAR 8 too. And if I put in some good setups at some races, we can get to the final four and beyond on this game. Quick qualify, and we're just going to not start last place. We're going to start much better in the races on this game just because the qualifying has improved a bit. And then we got the damage, which is on full stability help off. Always use custom setups as turned off, but I will be using some eventually. And transmission is on automatic. I only do much of the manual stuff whenever I'm playing NASCAR games. Let's get to the loading screen for me and for you. Well, let's get to the track. I think the night race is for the truck series in the first race of the season. Somebody let me know if Matt Crafton has been using any alternate paint schemes in actual NASCAR races because I actually did spend $30 on the hot pass for this game whenever it came out, so I get all paint schemes like ahead of time. Whatever comes out, it gets sent right to me. I've already got all of Kyle Busch's paint schemes. And yeah, we're using Kyle Busch whenever we get to the Cup Series because, yeah, at this point, I believe he's a more successful driver for the 18 car than Bobby Labonte. And for the Xfinity Series, I've chosen Elliott Sadler, I think. But uh, yeah, that's quite a ways away. Let's go ahead and click continue and go into qualifying. 25th. I feel like I'm still playing NASCAR E2 with shit like that. Uh, it was a bit better, 50.47, but if I was in the draft, then I guess I would be starting uh, between 10th and 20th. Uh, yeah, I'd have been starting like in the top 20 somewhere if I'd actually had a draft, but that's what they make it seem like. If I had thrown some highly advanced full-on setup in there, then yeah, we would have qualified really well. Justin Haley on the front row next to John Hunter Nemechek, I think it said. We got Corbin Forrester uh, starting ahead of me, and I think the 13 car, or 13 truck, is driven by uh, Mike Snyder in this game. And yeah, he's starting right next to Corbin Forrester. So let's see how Mike Snyder does without me. Because we, we all know how good a, he is whenever I'm driving for him. Yeah, it's night time. Click start race. They're going to tell us about the pole series and everything. And then um, also um, who's like gets bad qualifying starts. I hope it's multiple drivers because if it's like just one, then I don't get started on the inside. I guess nobody failed qualifying for the first race of the season. I guess that's cool. So, we get started on the inside. All good. I know the first stage is going to be like two laps. And, uh, yeah, I'm really liking how this game looks. Like, it's, I haven't been able to pay that much attention to how different the game looks now that uh, NASCAR 8 3 has come out because it's been doing so much dirt racing and crap. But, so for the first stage, just going to try to pass as many people as possible. I know in this game they have less glitchy uh, pit stops under caution and stuff. Harmon over here, Mike Harmon. Douchebag. Got Jordan Anderson uh, warrant for his arrest and shit out because he would go pick up his damn car from Newling or whoever it was that was repairing it. Or his car, or his truck, but whatever. Fuck you, Mike Harmon. I blame you. Jordan Anderson is Anderson. It, I can't even say this shit right now. Who, who the fuck can I like say it? This freaking crap. I can't even say it right. Okay, we're going into the middle lane because the outside has got some space and I think it'd go faster if I can get going. We're three wide right now, which is not safe. Just gonna. Try to keep contact with this red, white, and blue truck so I don't hit the 20. Yeah, that move didn't work. I'm just trying to get a run somewhere and uh, we'll pass these guys. The truck just isn't going in this outside lane for some reason. Like, there's space there, but it's just not pulling me. 
Now someone else on my inside is Greenfield passing me, so I'm really just losing positions at the start of this race. And once we get that long run for the final stage, we'll probably be really getting somewhere, and I could probably use pit strategy by not getting tires, because you really don't have to, even in this series, where it wears down faster now that we're having this game out. Okay, trying to get to the inside, can't do it. Burton's underneath me. Trying to side draft him, I guess, but I really don't know what to do. I ain't got anybody to pull me. I went to the outside trying to experiment, make some moves, but I don't know how to race in this game just yet. Not super speedways, at least. Yeah, everybody's getting past me. This middle lane ain't doing anything. It's not supposed to be the lane. It's supposed to be outside, but my truck can't do the outside. Okay, the inside. We're in 27, so I'll start stage two on the inside. That's good, I guess. Okay, so no outside line driving. This truck can't do outside line driving. Fine. Uh, let's get out of here. I'm taking pit stops after the first stage. I kind of doubt it. Yeah, no. Estimated fuel is nine laps. We do have a pit stop, obviously. I don't know when it's going to be. Like I said, the tires are going to wear down a little bit, but it's not really going to slow me down because I've got the draft, of course. So, no pit stop. Let's try to do better this time. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that number eight truck. It's like a whole Dale and our junior throwback to 2000 2000 and 2001. It's got Polaris on the back of it. That's a sponsor we usually don't see in NASCAR. I haven't seen Polaris in NASCAR since, like, whenever NASCAR Dirt to Daytona came out. We still don't have, um penalties or whatever for like driving on underneath the yellow line they start doing all that crap for like lightning challenges and nascar thunder games and then you also had it whenever you played the you technics games but i don't know why we still don't have it in this one like at road courses they have stuff like that outside lane is dying please don't pull in front of the inside lane i, I like this i like what's going on right here this is beautiful <laughs> so that's gonna get us uh into 16th i think if we can pull past johnny Sauter. my car is my car, my truck is just dying right now. It's not carrying any speed through the trap. I don't know why it didn't work for me. It worked for them. I'm trying to pull past Johnny Sauter. If I was doing a Chevy driver, I probably would have chosen Johnny Sauter, but I went ahead and decided to pick a Ford one. Uh, I mean, maybe a NASCAR Heat 4, I'll choose a Chevy for the truck series because that's the only one I haven't done yet in the truck series in these NASCAR Heat games. Obviously couldn't have done that NASCAR Heat Evolution because that was the only Cup series. Finally got past him. Big problem with all the space between me and Dalton Sargent, for some reason, what if can't pronounce his name, pull up to his back bumper, give him a little bit of a push, there's just, wasn't any way to pass him just yet, but I'd be able to make some moves through this field, I don't know about trying to make another lane right here, yeah, he's starting to check up, I'm going to side draft him, trying to push him out of the draft and pull myself past him, you were already on the bottom, man, so, like, I, I should be right here, he's not letting me finish the pass, so, well, why did you leave that space there? if you were going to tease me and have me screwed out of getting anywhere. Now I'm falling back from Johnny Sauter. Hey, hey, stop hitting me, man. Golly, I'm just trying to stay on this outside lane for him. We're in 17th, and we're not going to fall back to 18th, but that's the end of Stage 2. Fell to the freaking outside lane without even trying. I wanted to push him to the bottom because he was already making a third lane, and then he forced me up the top of the track again, so it's kind of just push and pull. Okay, pit stops. Um, not taking tires, so hopefully I gain positions because of this. And then in the process, I can still, like, hold my ground without taking tires. Because that can slow you down if you don't get any. But, um, 11 laps. I get 1.1 can. Yeah, all I need is to get, like, half a can. And that's, that's going to make me to the end. Do I get to be in first? Wow, we all did the same thing. They didn't get tires, and they got half a can of fuel. I was just thinking about it. I was trying to see until, like, it actually went down for the, the fuel count thing. With how many laps we have left. But we got a... Eight lap run to the finish. It said nine, but we spent one under the caution, so we're definitely going to be able to make it now. So if we all didn't take tires, then that means I'm really not going to be slowed down in comparison to anybody. Okay, well, on the inside, just like where I finished in stage two. So I'm going to go ahead, get underneath this white truck. He's slowing up for that outside lane, which is just not going that fast on the restart yet again. And finger, don't, don't touch me. Curry. Steph Curry, I don't know. Steph Curry fan 30. That used to be one of my fans. I don't know what happened to him, though. Okay, into the top 10 we go, because I guess this truck is really good at restarts. So outside lane has just not been working for the past couple of times. It was fine the first time, and I got into it because it looked like it was working, but uh, it's just a bunch of Tom Fuller at this point. And we got a gap broken between the top five and the rest of us, and got people on the outside passing me. Golly, I feel like my truck is always such a disadvantage whenever I play these games. But I'm going to stay on the inside. Try to get Gregson to pull me. I guess his name is pronounced Gregson. I hear people calling him Gregson, but there's no G there. And the Gregson, it's Gregson. Safe flight repair. Safe flight replace. 
I haven't seen one of them commercials in a while. And probably the reason why I don't see commercials in, anymore is because I don't actually watch TV unless I'm watching NASCAR. Okay, got a good run off of turn two. Making a pass on Noah Gregson. Look behind us. Yeah, we got that get camera shit. Also, what is my primary sponsor? Ideal Door Garage Doors. Ideal Door. Ideal Door? Ideal Door. I don't Ideal Door. I don't know if that's supposed to be some inside joke or what, but like Ideal Door Garage Doors. Like there's multiple doors in my primary sponsorship. Oh, trying to pull up in front of this guy. I'm not exactly clear, but my back end was sliding against his front end, surprisingly. I think I can win this race because we've got good momentum now that the race has got going on. We've got, uh, what is it, six laps left? I want to say five because 18 minus 13, but, like, we haven't completely lap 13, so got to think about that. Joe Nemechek is in sixth place. That was another driver that I think I could have picked. Uh, at least I think he was a Ford driver. Maybe it was a Chevy one. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to go with the Ford driver. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, he's a Chevy driver, but if I was going to go with the Chevy driver, I was going to pick him, I think, because he's a truck legend, so... Yeah, maybe not on the Johnny Sauter thing, but I think Johnny Sauter is better than Joni Macek. Just Joni Macek is back here in the truck series just because his career has just been falling apart, obviously. It's like his um, his last resort. It's his uh, Papa Road situation. I see all these guys going to the bottom, and I think they're going down pit road, so I pulled out, but yeah, they weren't. You never see any little tiny uh, baby hands sticking out the window whenever you play these games, like they're signaling they're going down pit road. That would be amazing, but it would also be cute at the same time if you saw a little sticky... Little, sticky, little tiny hands sticking out the windows playing an NASCAR game. Like they do that in reality, but um, it would be just a little, simple little feature. Maybe they would like not put hands in the games that they decide to do that. It would be a little tiny signal saying like these names of people in front of you are going down the road or something. I don't know. I'm really stuck to Corbin Forrester's truck. I didn't even realize I was behind Corbin Forrester. I was talking too much, but yeah, we're getting a run underneath him. He's in the top five. So Kamikaze. Your man Corbett Forreston is having a really good season so far in my LP. I don't know how long that's going to stay, but I wonder if Corbin Forrester is ever going to find himself having built his truck series equipment up to actually be this successful in reality. Like, I mean, maybe someday, like, the equipment will be better and he'll be out there running the top five all the time, but as of now, I think he's like a, a midfielder still. Uh, underneath Austin Hill. I think that's Austin Hill. That's what his name is. I don't know. We got the little leaderboard thing. Is it Austin Hill? Yeah, that's what his name is. I guess I just had a good hunch. Okay, so we got the draft of Todd Gilland, and then the lead, I think it's Justin Haley, because I don't recall having passed him, and he did start on the pole. Go up and block this high lane, try to stay in the draft of one of these guys in front. We have a draft from in front and behind, and we have a pass. No, that's Travis Quapple, and he's getting passed by Todd Gilland. I don't know what happened to Justin Haley. I guess we passed him at some point and didn't know, but got a good run off of turn four. And I have Todd Gilland pull me. Uh, Travis Quapple's going to the bottom end. Yeah, he's going to make the block. We've got three laps to go. It's a 49.04. So, yeah, in the draft of the AI, they're much faster because online, I guess, like, it's just not such a big pack, so you don't get that big of a draft in the game. Maybe the setups and shit would be able to get lap times like that, but obviously I'm just on the full crap. Trying to get past this number 50 truck right here, Travis Quapple. And Todd Gillen's on the top lane, so I can't get him to pull me. And now he's going down to the bottom. I don't know why. I guess he's just trying to keep faking runs with us or something. Uh, we're going to have two laps to go next time by, so we're not all run out of time, but I'm struggling to get past Travis Quapple, who just went up the track for some reason in three. Uh, it's going to be a true struggle to get a run from Todd Gillen and get around him. But we will finish well in this race, which is good enough. I remember when NASCAR Heat 3 came out, I started this Let's Play rather immediately, and I won the race, and I think it was only because of pit strategy. But yet, in this one, yeah, if I do win the race, it's on talent alone. Me making my way through the field and getting out of situations where everybody checks up. And actually, NASCAR 3 the outside lane checked up at one point, and I was on the inside or something like that, and that's how I managed to finish so well. But, you know, I still did have a strategy and such to win the race. So, I'm clear up top. Todd Gillen's right in front of me. If I can get him to pull me enough in a straightaway and then slip underneath him going into a corner, I can side draft my way to victory. I'm trying to win the first race of the LP. By the way, I didn't even mention this, but um, the theme song for this Let's Play is Save... Your Breath by Five Finger Death Punch. I haven't even recorded clips for the intro, put it all together yet, or anything. I'm just recording this, and I'll probably do it later on in the week once I'm editing this video. But White Flag is out. Corbin Forrester is gunning for me. I'm watching that rearview mirror. I just really hate how you can see the spoiler in the rearview mirror in this game. I don't recall that being a thing in the last one, but uh, it kind of distracts me whenever I can't tell like which is an actual truck or car because of the freaking spoiler. 
it just doesn't seem like I can really get around Todd Gillen. I can't get a big enough run. There's not much I can do. It might be because of my tires being worn or something, but none of us actually got tires. Uh, I'm getting low on feel, but I think, yeah, we're fine to the end. I, o button, JC, not the X button. Yeah, we're all, we're all good. We can make it to the end, but looks like we're going to finish second in this race because this truck is not getting a single run on Todd Gillen. He's going to take the win here. And Corbin Forrester is going to finish in third place. And I'm trying to make sure that nobody gets around him. Yeah, I'll let him underneath me, but and he's not going to complete the pass. Never mind, he did. Usually, I don't have to show the point standings after the first race of the season, but because of stage racing and the, the playoff points and whatever, yeah, I'm in eighth place instead of third place. Brett Moffat has got the points lead. And Justin Haley is in second place with one playoff point. So, yeah, all, all those stage points, they really change everything around. But, yeah, there's all that. I really should be showing you all the point standings. Yeah, blurby blur. Mayan Snyder, 31st after a horrible finish like that. Oh, my goodness. Eight points. Yeah, my Snyder without me just does not perform that well. But I'll see you guys next weekend whenever we go to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Active Pest Control 200. Don't know if it's going to be that Active Pest Control because I'm a pest, but I'm going to be out there running really well. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.